Hey guys, it's Mom Rastafer here, author, speaker, coach, and welcome to another edition of Motivated Muscle, where you learn the mindset secrets to help you burn stubborn body fat and add lean muscle. And in this video, we're going to be talking about calorie tracking and whether or not calorie tracking is a good idea. Well, to answer that question, first of all, um, I want you to think about this, okay? Would you consider driving a car and... Um, not keeping a track of how much petrol there was in the car. And if you were just driving along and you were putting petrol in randomly and you weren't keeping an eye on the gauge to see how much petrol was in the car, can you realistically be certain that you are getting, that the car has got enough fuel to sustain the journey, right? Sooner or later, you're going to be on red. And if you're not, if you're ignoring the, the, the signs, if you like, and you're not tracking the amount of fuel that's in the car, then chances are at some point you're going to just break down, right? And on the flip side, if you are fueling your car and you're putting a load of fuel into the car, there comes a point where you're keeping an eye, right? When you're, you're filling up your car, you're keeping an eye as to how much petrol is going in. Um, and then basically, as you keep fueling up, there'll come a point at which you have to stop putting fuel in because it's just going to overflow, right? And... The point is, when you're putting fuel into your car, you are tracking how much you're putting in because you're looking at it, right? And in in that metaphor, if you like, therein lies the answer when it comes to whether or not you should track your calories, right? The, the problem is in life is, is this, yeah? When it comes to us fueling our car, our vehicle or whatever, we tend to want to keep an eye on the gauge. We like to see exactly how much fuel we're putting in and how much it's going to cost us, right? However, when it comes to our bodies, people seem to make up all sorts of irrational and illogical excuses for not tracking how much they're actually eating. But here's the thing, when people say to me, should I track calories? My real answer is this, look, your mind may, may not be tracking the calories, but trust me, your body is, okay? Your body's tracking the calories irrespective, and you can have a look at the balance sheet when you take your top off and look in the mirror. That is the balance sheet of your body and, and of the, the calories you've been consuming. So if you're taking in too much energy and you don't, um, in the form of food, and you don't track that, then there's a good chance you're going to either put in too much or too little, okay? And irrespective of whatever that is, it's going to have an effect on your body. If you're taking in too few calories, then it's going to be very hard for you to reach your fitness goals if you're trying to, say, put on muscle. If you're put, taking in too many, calo too many calories and you're, you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to get lean and get a ripped six pack and whatever, but you're not take, if you're taking in too many calories, then you're going to find it hard to be in what's called a deficit to allow you to do that. Okay, so it's very important if you've got specific goals that you don't try and use this wishy washy approach of just trying to guess what you're doing. You have to take a more scientific approach. And you may ask yourself, well, is it worth it? Is, you know, is is it worth all the effort? Well, the question is. Is it worth you getting in, in shape? Do you really want to be lean? Do you want to be healthy? Do you want to have more energy? Do you want to live longer? Do you want to look better? Do you want to have more confidence, more self-esteem? Do you want to be more energetic? Do you want to have a, a, a higher chance of living longer? Do you want to have a better chance of not needing certain medical treatments that are associated with overweight, uh, being overweight and you know um, obesity and diabetes and all these other associated risks with being extremely overweight. If if you think that tracking calories um, it, for for all those great benefits is still not worth it, then it's not worth it. But if you think that you'd like those benefits, then I think it definitely is worth it. And the great thing is that these days it is easier than ever to track our calories. And the reason this is, is because these days we've got apps that we can literally have on our phone and we can scan in the barcodes of the foods we're eating and they'll tell us exactly how many calories we're eating. That's easier than ever, right? It's almost like if you think back in the day when people used to do maths and they used to use those, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're those little balls and they'd, they'd move them along like teachers used to have in, you know, back in the 50s and 60s and whatever. And these days we've got calculators and it just does everything for us. We don't even need to know maths these days. Same as like sat -navs. These days, most people don't even know how to get across from one side of the country to the next side without using a map. They need to just rely on a sat -nav. And these days, you can rely on, on an app to kind of track your calories for you. So it's really easy to do that. If you want to find out the app I use, just click the link below this video, go over to my website and look at the resources page and you can check out the MyFitnessPal app that I use. 
Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and head over to my website now via the link below this, um, this video where you can check out the seven mindset keys to help you get in shape permanently and naturally. My name is Omar I'll see you guys soon. Take care.